Wendy from Spring Branch has questions about painting. Well, they're converting a bedroom into a nursery. So uh oh, got... something's coming. Some... You could. <laughs> mm. Nothing gets passed off. <laughs> yes. All right, so Wendy writes. Been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to paint, he says, over the wallpaper, or Wendy does. And she says her hubby said he heard you talk about a paint that would do just that, just one paint. So they went down to Lowe's and the Depot, and those folks didn't know what they were talking about. So, Tom, can you help Wendy? That's why you need to call me first, because both of those places have the the, uh, the sealer that I was talking about. You're still going to use a regular interior house paint to paint the color. But they both had the sealer on the shelf. It's called Zins. It's made by Zinzer. It's BIN primer. It's a pigmented shellac. When you ask people for pigmented shellac, they don't have a clue. Uh, I always tell people because coatings are so uh, high tech today. It's not the old days where you bought some off the wall primer and whatever paint was eight ninety nine a gallon. You go to a paint store. So if you have a close paint store around, I don't care if it's a Sherwin Williams or a Pittsburgh or whatever you got, go to one of those guys because they'll be able to answer these questions when you say, "I need a pigmented shellac to seal down wallpaper." They'll know, "Bing, I know exactly what you need," and they'll mm -hmm. have it. So you seal it down with a pigmented shellac, just paint it on, let it dry. You might see some bubbling and stuff, just ignore it, let it dry. Then go ahead with a putty knife, scrape down the little bubbles. If there's any seams or anything that are coming loose, just rip it off and use a joint compound. Float those areas nice and smooth, but don't sand them when you smooth them for the, to the final texture. You use a damp sponge because the water will no longer go through that wallpaper and it won't be pulled off because of the pigmented shellac. And then you can texture and paint. You can re-wallpaper. You can put little dinosaurs and stuff on there. It is a nursery. So you can get real creative with it, too, and have some fun. I did the exact same thing, but I added one more step. And what was that? Called Rudy. Rudy. And if you don't want it, pigmented yeah. shellac, by the way, is really stinky. Yes. It won't hurt your child yet, but if you're pregnant, I probably wouldn't handle it. Really? I just want to say that. No, yeah. ki all kidding aside. Uh, all kidding aside. Be very careful. Make your husband do it. <laughs> or call right. Rudy. Uh, That's what you call a honeydew. And a lot, of, a lot of open windows. But once it dries, it's fine. It's actually made from a bug, a shellac beetle. But it's incredibly... Uh, strong smelling, and I, I'm so particular about germs and, and chemicals, and I'm a lead renovator, and I don't want anything to happen to those youngsters we're bringing in the world. Right? Smart with a heart. That's Tom Tynan the right babies. there. And make their homes... We don't matter anymore. <laughs> make their, make the their homes a fancy, fun place. Oh, yeah. By watching more of these videos. You can get answers to your questions, lots of them, waiting for you under the Ask Tom tab. That's where we have all these videos waiting for you.